you know, when your three top scores go six to 30, it's, it's tough. And, uh, but the one thing I thought that was really good was our defense was good throughout. We had, uh, we had a, three breakdowns at the end, I thought. You know, we, uh, Folky had the rebound and got it taken away from him. That was a huge play in the game. They drove baseline. Josiah had great position. I'm not sure who gave up the drift three. That was a big play. And then um, Folky had his man covered. And I think he was coming over the block of shot when he threw the lob up there. And um, which I, I get that because he's, he comes to, to block shots. But in a possession game like that, that's they, they matter. They really do. And then on the offensive end, you know, it's tough because when, when you're when you're open and you've got looks at it, it's tough not to take open shots because we, you know, we don't want guys to get hesitant. But they also have to, we also have to figure out the flow of the game when it's time. You know, somebody's just not going in, they're going to have to change and, and play. We didn't get the fast break push that we need most of the time. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, we, we're a good defensive team. We put people in long possessions and uh, then we work at it and uh, then we want to go score quick too. But then if we're not shooting all well, it seems like we're playing defense for you know twenty some seconds and playing offense for ten or twelve. And but that's okay because we've worked enough on knowing I think not well, I think understanding the flow, but uh, we it was a kind of game that we, we really thought it would be. How you know we had nine turnovers. We we weren't able to take advantage early in the second half. Uh, in the second half, we had to leave because he was on the bench and Josiah. And when we were had advantage basketball, we didn't take advantage of it. We were just continuing getting the ball across and not attacking the way we had talked about. Grant and Corey, how, how do you get more consistency out of Lamonte and Jordan? Uh, That's a good question, and I don't know the answer to that. You know, I trust them. I, I have confidence in them, but. Uh, you know, they, they moved into new roles, and they're going to have to figure it out, too. And as a group, we'll figure it out. But we've got to – we had some execution breakdown to it at the end. That, um, and, again, when you're in a possession game like this, that's, we've got to be mature enough to understand we've got to make them all count. But uh, those guys will have to figure that out. <coughs> Yeah, again, when we came out and, and he fumbled the ball, and that's what happened. He, you know, he came off of it, he fumbled the ball, and and uh, but they backed up, and you know, he's made those shots. And you know, you've got to believe that at some point in time, I mean, the one that he drove down the lane and did whatever, I'm not sure what you'd call that. He should have shot that shot. I mean, as much as you work at shooting, as much as we work at it, and again, there's nights it doesn't go in, but there's certain nights when you're wide open, it's in the flow. You got to shoot to shoot to shoot it, whether you. Whatever you've got to do it, you know you've got to do it. But I was really pleased with Drew, Drew Pember, and I think Drew's going to get a chance, and he's going he's to change it because he's a guy that the more he gets out there, he's going to figure it out. But he gives us another ball handler and a guy that has a really good feel. And I think Devontae Gaines is getting more comfortable, so uh, got to get Olivier. You know he wasn't very good today, and uh, he's got to change his body language when things aren't going well. He can't let everybody in the building know that. He's down on himself. That comes with maturity and playing. But uh, we need him. We need him. But we, but we need him to do the job and play the role we need him to play. Uh, Rick uh, Penny, I'm repeating, expressed some remorse about his comments last year. Said he wants the rivalry to continue. But what are your thoughts on the future of this rivalry after this game? You know, I've talked about it. I've said the same thing that I've said from the beginning. When I got here. We were the ones that initiated to start this series. And it started with Tubby, Smith, and I. We talked about it. It took us two years to figure it out before we could get it going. Uh, our initial thoughts were we wanted to play in Nashville, divide the building, do that. That's how we wanted to do it. And I've said, uh, leading up to this, because we're, we've been able to move our program, where I think their program has moved, you've got to have flexibility in your schedule. I'm not saying we will or we won't, uh, but like I said, I've got respect for what Memphis, I mean, I know all about the history of Memphis basketball. I know a lot about Penny Hardaway, and I learned this week that somebody I didn't know that he's not in the Hall of Fame. I was surprised by that. I didn't know that. And uh, But the fact is, every year we look at our schedule, and we play a really hard schedule. And uh, we'll look at it, and, and again, we're always going to do what we think is right for us. And I'm not saying we will or we won't, but uh, that's, that's where we are. 
Rick Josiah had a really nice start to the game. Would you like to see him continue looking for that shot in the second half? Or are you okay with how he played? No, I, I, again, I thought he turned down. Again, he's worked really hard again to shoot the ball. But he, uh, I thought Josiah played his best game in terms of his confidence and his demeanor in terms of how he was playing. I thought he was, I thought he was good today in terms of trying to do everything that he could in the overall game. And I might feel different after I looked at the tape. But I, I do like the way he carried himself today. Rick, do you think the or, or were you surprised that you had when you were breaking the press that you had some guys who didn't really seem comfortable with the ball to really go out there and make decisions when you had numbers? Yeah, I thought we didn't take advantage of the advantage basketball when we had it. You know, we were looking locking in and, and uh, that's the one thing we didn't do a very good job of early. But we had some guys on the floor. One time I think we had Jalen and, and Drew and Devontae Gage out there at one time and that, that's a group that's Honestly, they don't play together very much, but I, I think they were just trying to protect the ball as opposed to uh, looking to take advantage of the situation that we had. Uh, Rick, what, what, was, what was Memphis doing to, to guard Jordan and Monte, and how would you assess how those guys played today in general? Well, what they were they were going to make it hard for like everybody has all year for Monte. Once he gives it up, get get it back. But we, we don't we don't really worry about it. In fact, but we've got three guys out there that we think can handle the ball. So they want to deny me. We'll go get in to an action himself. Those three guys are between Jordan and, and Josiah and Monte. They can all three play all three spots, but teams are going to do that. You know, they're going to uh, try to work it, get it out of his hands and see if somebody else can play. But, uh, but we've seen that all year, to be quite honest with you. During the uh, last five minutes of the first half, and they were running back to the press defense, so they didn't really turn it over much, but it seemed like they used that to pick up the pace of the game and really get their offense in rhythm. How did you analyze no, I don't think our offense was good at any point in time. I'm not, I don't know if I can tell you. Uh, a couple times when we did what we wanted to do, when we ran something, I mean, we did some things, but we didn't consistently do it, you know, in, in transition. You know, we, we really like our transition game. We didn't get to it as much as we should have. But it goes back. At some point in time, you've got to make shots. You know, I don't care what you do. It's never pretty if you don't make shots. I mean, I mean Memphis, I think, averages, what, 80-some points a game? And, they struggled to get to 52, and, uh, but I thought both teams played hard, and both teams had a lot to do with what happened on that end for each team. But uh, we, uh, again, we, we had a chance to play advantage basketball in the first half. We didn't do it in the second half. They didn't really trap us like they were trying to do to get back in the game. But at that point in time, when they made that push back, you know, we had some key guys on the bench that we couldn't take advantage of at that time. Wesley, David, do you think there might be some some confidence issues on this offense, and if there are, how do you go about addressing that? Because the guys just kind of look more timid than usual. Um, well, I think it's I think it's tough when you when you catch the ball sometime and you're wide open. I think it's tough, you know. You think about Lamonte, uh, a couple guys had shots. I mean, some wide open. I mean, it can't be any more open, and they don't miss it. Then I think we're the, if you want to call it timid, I think doubt creeps in when guys like all right, I've shot one or two, I haven't made made it where. That's where you got to have confidence in the flow of the game, in the flow of the offense. And then as a player, you've got to realize somebody it's okay, maybe I'm not shooting the ball. I don't, and, and, and if you do get that mindset where you're not sure you can make a shot, you should be moving on to the next play quickly so you can stay in the flow of the game as opposed to being hesitant. And it, that's something that, um, again, some guys were going through for the first time. I mean, we were counted on to, to score points and Things aren't going well. How can they continue to affect the game? Rick, what's the reasons you feel like you guys didn't have the kind of offensive value that we Well, I, again, I look at this. Devontae Turner, 1 for 11. Josiah, 4 for 11. Bowden, 2 for 10. Epons, 3 for 10. And uh, I know, you know JV is not going to get a lot of great looks at it. Josiah had looks and probably could have, he was three for six, he probably could have shot it six more times than he wanted to. But he was wanting to create, get in the lane, get to the fouls, you know, get to the foul line, which we want to do. We want to get to their bench. And uh, like I think any team would. But uh, Lamonte, I think, really does try hard. You know, he, he was out a couple of days this week working with his shoulder, and I think I think that's going to get better and better. I think that's going to help him once he get, gets it a million some of the things that they're doing with him now. And with uh, Jordan Bowden and 
Delonte or two guys that will be in the game plan for it. And, uh, but it gets down to uh, believing in each other, doing what we do. And like a couple sets when we, when we really did execute well, we were able to get baskets that I think anybody should make, like layups around the rim. I mean, you can't coach making shots as much as you, as much as you like to make every shot. You've got to keep your players believing that, hey, you're open, you got to take your shots. And, uh, but uh, I just hope we don't have any more nights like this. Is there kind of one of those nights that shooting wise, something else that gets hard to make some shots? Do what? Is there kind of, you feel like just one of those nights you just didn't get some shots or anything else you feel like gets hard to do? Yeah, you know, I, I, again, I'll look at the tape, there'll be some things, but again, I mean, the only team with 51 points is averaging 80 some. And then, I mean, if you look at it, when they shot 33%, but we shoot 25%, 4 for 26. And again, I, I will tell you this, a couple of I would say six of those, seven of those probably weren't what I would consider good shots at the time, you know, those six. Like Olivier took a good first one, then he caught the ball wide open on a scramble situation. He wasn't ready to shoot, he shot it. Those were the ones that, um, that were tough shots, but he's a freshman and he's learning. He's learning because he was so wide open. And, uh, but uh, you don't normally see that, but that's where he's got a, but they were, they were like back-to-back -back plays. And, and I think a little bit of emotion for the young guys, maybe, I mean, you can, I mean, you can think about a lot of different things, but uh, again, uh, four for 26 is, uh, again, I would like to see the ball move a little bit more so we can get ourselves in a position to rebound the ball. Because you know what, they, they get 13 rebounds. And again, the stats, you look at it, they, they get 13 offensive rebounds. They normally give up 13, we got 12. But it comes down to games like this. We can analyze it all we want. It's a possession game. There's a couple of things like you cannot lose a rebound. Like you can't do it. I mean, those are those are critical plays. You can't give a guy, you know, you got a guy covered, come over, make a play, give up a lot. Those are just plays, that, and those are the things that I think we'll learn from. As good as we play defensively, and on offensively, I, again, there's a lot of things I could talk about. That, but the fact is, I do know we had some looks at it that we. Knocked down and you have to continue to put pressure on you on that end, but I don't think that ever trickled over to the defensive side. I thought we stayed with what we were trying to do on, on that end. Tony uh, said this was almost like an NCAA tournament game. What was it like for you guys just to have the game energy Well, again, I don't, I mean, I think it's a high level of the basketball game. I think that, but you know what? We, we've got to use in this building. With our fans, we, I think we got the best fan base in college basketball. And for some of these guys, it's the first time they've been in it. But Lamonte and Bowden and Fulkerson and he and those guys have been through quite a bit of it, you know. And uh, but uh, I thought it was a hard fall game. I thought both teams played really hard. I thought both teams were fighting, and scratching for everything they could get. And uh, I thought it would play like that from the start with, it, you know. And, uh, and so. Uh, I think both teams have a chance to really get a lot better. I think, I think we're both young, and I think that uh, as the season goes on, I, I like to think that we're going to get a lot better from this. And I think, I think their team is going to get better. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.